Her second year at Augsburg University as well, representing the Twin Cities RTC. Augsburg trying to go two for two in the finals after Shilson came from behind to win at 50 kilograms. Passivity warning on Baker. It's tough. This is it's kind of the uh, the rules of the game. You have to it can't have a scoreless first period. So someone has to go on the activity clock if there are no scores. As Baker picks up the passivity, but nobody was being passive here. It's really just part of how these freestyle matches have to be officiated. Estrella was a 2019 Fargo runner-up last year. More accolades populating these finals. Baker's been working from an underhook. So far, no, no scores, and now Estrella gets a passivity warning. Was that her second? Let's see if the clock starts. It does not. Firing off a double, well-timed. Estrella's got two and now two more. They go out of bounds. Four points. It's a great shot by Estrella. A wonderful transition into the lace. It was very high up above the knees. Got the quick turn and they're back to the center. So that moots any discussion of an activity clock. I don't think we're gonna see one in this period anyway. talk about back-to-back uh, -back people in, in bouts. Ike also from Hawaii, Estrella's Hawaii girl, so it's two right in a row. All right, the Aloha State, very well represented. That's great to see. You never know from what corners of the country are going to show up at these national tournaments in Hawaii now having a good one. As Estrella takes a 6-0 lead on that go-behind. Good change of direction. 40 seconds to go. Estrella's got to be thinking now, keep her foot on the gas for the tech fall or conserve some energy for a potential second period. I think the right move is keep your foot on the gas, but easier said than done. Ooh, nice looking uh, foot sweep from Baker. Just didn't hit it quite hard enough. Had Estrella off, bound, off balance. Baker is a graduate of the Wyoming SEM program. She hails from Pennsylvania, so... Yeah, great things going on in Wyoming, Sam. Uh, and then the good transition, reshot from Baker. But Estrella is there to catch her. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful to see a, a powerhouse prep men's program for so many years in Wyoming, Sam. Now step it up and uh, get the women's program not only just starting one, but with a bang. It's tough to think of a better way to start. And we're going to get a nice replay. We're gonna get, that's the shot, there it is. Coming right at the screen into that lace. I like the way Estrella trapped the uh, bent leg of Baker with her body and then was able to get the turn that way. Shows a level of savvy you need to transition on the fly. Baker running a two-on-one Russian to start the second period. Level change from Estrella. And one more. Baker fighting very strong in the center, but Estrella's just finding those openings and exploiting them. And some power there. Big double to make it 9-0. One more point will seal the deal. She just has no fear in her attacks here. She's going for it. She's putting two and two together, staying continuous with her movement. Yeah, that's just reps, just in the room, hitting them again and again, feeling comfortable so that muscle memory is ready to go without much thinking. Estrella putting on a Wonderful performance so far. She'll be one to look at going forward, making various level age teams. Unfortunately, no world championships this year. 
Only a, a stop sign and a national title on the line. No world team trials. But a great way to get some matches in against high competition. Baker with perhaps one of her best shots so far. The champions here, they uh, earn a bid to the 2021 senior world team trials. So even at this level, if she wins this, she's earning her bid there. Yeah, excellent point. There is more than just the stop sign on the line. We're going to have the Oslo Worlds. How, how nice will it be? Knock on wood, of course, but an Olympics and then a world championships. In Oslo. Yeah. I'll take a summer there. Picking the knee, and Baker can't resist anymore. She goes down, puts up. A great fight, but it's Nanea Estrella of Hawaii and the American Falls Wrestling Club. Hawaii going two for two. Not bad. And we're going to take a quick commercial break and come right back with more junior women's freestyle national championships.